good but it's called M is for Mama and it's a rebellion against mediocre motherhood and it's by Abby Halberstadt I think of VP Organics tinctures that for our kids they have been wanting Bibles of their own for a while now I love how it looks when I put my hair in braids because Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. So it has been a really rough and tough morning. Um, my kids have just been really on me this morning. And I've had to have a lot of patience. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but I'm finally getting dressed in workout clothes because I'm going to work out. I am determined to work out. But um, I'm going to try and gotta get my hair all up so it's not everywhere all over my face when I'm working out and then I'm gonna spray I'm spraying this is like a it's witch hazel water um, a little bit of a outside vinegar um, some aloe vera and a couple different kinds of essential oils like rosemary and uh, there's probably one other that I don't remember but anyway really good essential oils for your hair so I'm just putting this on some of my roots I have some dandruff problems, so I'm trying to get rid of it, and it's not... I'm sure it's probably because I'm low in something, or breastfeeding too, that can actually be a... a good indicator that you're breastfeeding is when you have dry scalp, because baby's taking a lot from you and you're not getting the nutrients you should be, because, like me, I should be taking more supplements than I am, but that's because money's tight and it just is what it is. But. Anyway, I'm going to hopefully work out today, and so what I'm doing right now is just trying to get some of this really good stuff in my hair and on my scalp, so this kind of helps with dandruff and all that. It's also really healthy for your hair, so, but yeah, anyway. I also wash my hair in um, egg yolk and castile soap with other things in it. I don't just use castle soap and water. I use a bunch of other things like aloe vera and witch hazel in my shampoo. Um, sometimes I don't always do that with every every time I make it but and then I condition my hair with apple cider vinegar um, diluted with in water and some really good like um, essential oils and then I also can I tend to add some castor oil just enough not enough to make it super greasy just a little bit um, and it really helps with hair health but anyway enough about hair um, so today I am not doing a whole lot I want to tidy up my bathrooms um, and then hopefully the kids are good I'm gonna try and stay off of TV today we're all feeling much better just I went to work this morning um, everybody's just better and so I'm hoping that stays the way it, it hopefully it stays the, that way um, I'm trying and really hoping to make marshmallows today We'll see if that happens, um, but yeah, anyway, so there's no real big plan today, just I want to get the bathrooms tidied. I do want to change my sheets on our bed, get some of the laundry uh, going, um, and then just pick up the house and work out. I really, really want to work out. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to hurry up and braid my hair, then I'm going to dress my son. My oldest, Neil, still needs regular clothes on. 
jammies off and then I will start working out. So let's do this. Also, you guys, I washed my hair last night and <laughs> I put it in a braid. It's still damp. That's how thick my hair is. It doesn't like dry super quickly. It takes like me like not having anything in my hair and air drying for like almost two hours for it to really dry. Alright, I did a workout, but I'm not done. I'm still going to finish my workout, but this little girl is super needy and wants mommy a lot, which is fine. Jonathan took a nap. It's taking a nap, which is really nice, and I was taking a break from working out, responding to some messages and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, go back to it, and then yeah. we'll pick up, and then I'll probably get into some nicer clothes that aren't sweaty. Mm -hmm. Then we'll move on from there, probably lunch next. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're having leftover soup for lunch today with sourdough bread, like we had for dinner. I've also got some, so the bones that I used to make the beef broth with, I'm actually using to make bone broth with now. So they will sit in there for 24 hours. So yeah, anyway, but that's cooking. And so the next thing on my list is kind of to sort of get this cleaned up unless they're playing with it again. Um, obviously eat lunch and then get dressed. So that's what's next. Bye. So while I was thinking about it, I wanted to share with you guys some books that I've been enjoying. Bye. Now this is over a course of several months, um, but the most recent one, or actually even over a quarter of a year, I read books as a mom super slowly because I just don't have a whole lot of time for it. So when I have time, I pick up a book and I start reading it and I have a couple of those that I do. Just depends on what mood I'm in. Um, but anyway, the most recent one has been this one. I'm actually going through it with a couple of other ladies and it's so good. But it's called M is for Mama and it's a rebellion against mediocre motherhood and it's by Abby Halberstadt. I think, I think that's how I pronounce her last name. She has 10 kids and she has just... It's been an amazing book to read. Um, it's just talking about, yeah, like the fight against like mediocre motherhood and instead we need to be focusing on a biblical perspective of motherhood and what does that really mean and um, what does that look like? And so it's been really good. It's been very convicting, um, but it's also been super informative and encouraging at the same time. Um, but yeah, I would definitely highly recommend this one. Um, I'm, I'm really loving this book a lot. That's the most recent book. Um, this one hasn't been recent at all, but it's one I'm gonna try and get through. I really want to aspire, I'm aspiring to become a doula someday. Very slowly, I'm a mom of three, very busy. It just doesn't always, you know, happen that I can have time to study. But someday I hope to definitely become a doula. So I'm gonna be working on this book. I've, I've read a little bit of it. It's not from a Christian's perspective. It's just a book about doula, about being a doula and a guide to birth. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna be reading this. I haven't ever, like, I haven't fully read into it, so I can't really recommend it very much. But um, the school, the doula, um, 
well, the, the so the doula, doula certification that I want to certi certify with um, is called um, ED. Oh my word, what is it called? Um, anyway, it's a not not a very well known cert certification um, school that certifies doulas. It's um, EDC, I think is what it's called. Um, I'll try and put it up here, like the full name for you, and I'll try to link the school down below too. But it's where I would really love to get my certification from. Um, and they are Bible believing, pro uh, or pro life. Um, and very against woke culture, um, and so they're they're also Christians. So um, it's just it's really cool. They're they're um, and I, I just really like their ethics. I like their stance on um, I like their stance on abortion. It's totally wrong. Um, I really love how they come across with helping moms um, for with birth and all that and. It's just a very biblical point of view. Um, so anyway, I'm going, hopefully someday, Lord willing, if I can afford it, I wanna go through their whole program. Their program though is all inclusive of every kind of doula you could possibly want. Um, so that includes birth doula, that includes a postpartum doula, that includes grieving doula. Um, so you can certify for all of those and more. Um, so it's very, in very in-depth doula certification um, and that way you kind of just cover all your bases so that whatever client your client needs you're there for um, so yeah anyway or whatever you want to be that's fine they also have other courses that are more limited um, but anyway so that's definitely a book that I am trying to read this is another one that I haven't actually picked up since probably Jonathan was born um, but I need to finish it but this is um, Christ Centered Childbirth this is another requirement for the doula course that I want to take um, but this is super cool I did not know there was a childbirth or a Christian okay a childbirth book from a Christian's perspective and this has been amazing I would highly recommend it um, it's just been, it just kind of points you in the direction of where Christian women should be pointed when they're pregnant um, and where birth should be pointed. It shouldn't be this weird mystic thing. It's what we've been created to do. And anyway, it, it's, she's got a very Christ-centered perspective on birth. And so highly recommend this book. i am still got to get through it. So I'm also reading another book, which I'm not at liberty to really share but it's it's about kind of delighting your husband in the intimate way <clears throat> but it's from a very biblical perspe perspective um, and it talks about what the Bible says about sex and um, how you're supposed to you know want to delight your husband and it's a very good book um, so far anyway I've only gotten through a little bit of it I'll show you the title here and then you can go you know, look at it for yourself. Um, <coughs> you can see that. I don't know if I can make it clear. Maybe I can. Anyway, um, but yeah, I don't want to talk much on that book because it kind of is self-described or self, it can describe itself anyway. Um, but those are the, my favorite books that I have been enjoying the last past year. Um, <coughs> So it's been kind of, it's been great. I, I need to read more. I used to read a ton as a teenager and then I got really busy um, and then I kind of fell into a gap or a rut of like not reading and I really regret that. So I'm starting it up again and you know, I want my mind to be well educated and well learned and all that and so that's a good place to start and also the Bible, you know, reading and studying that a lot. Okay, um, but yeah, anyway, so those are the books I've been enjoying. All right, so I got in a package I've been waiting for for a while. We have been out of Leafy Organics tinctures that we, I got all throughout my pregnancy, or had all throughout my pregnancy, or, anyway, the end of my pregnancy, I took these like all the time. Um, so anyway, what, what are these? So Leafy Organics sells three different types of tinctures. I bought two of these. These are the ones I'm used to. They have a new tincture, all for like keeping your immune system up and 
Um, it's really good for flu season and stuff like that. But these two tinctures, this one is Leafy Prana and this is Leafy Nudra. Now, um, Nudra is a chart terry flavor and it's not just flavor, it's chart terry. It helps improve joint health, enhance muscle recovery and sleep support. So it really helps with sleep and muscle. It's kind of like a relaxing effect. Um, it's really great when you're pregnant and you need some relaxation um, and then help anyway. And then the Prana is really great for inflammation. Um, this is really good for, uh, let's see, it's got inflammation support, improved absorption. Um, it's also got, well, yeah, anyway, it's, it's great stuff. It's really good for inflammation and improved absorption. But it's turmeric and ginger is the extract and Super great. I'm sure there's other ingredients in it too. Let's see, the ingredients are vegetable glycerin, turmeric, ginger root, organic black pepper, and then they've got like vegetable glycerin and purified water. Um, so those are the ingredients. That's it, and it works like a charm. It's helped all my inflammation when I was pregnant and had that really bad um, uh, allergy flare-up, and this this really helped with that. It can also help with swelling and other things not related to um, pregnancy. My husband took it for a couple of things this last year and it helped him a lot. But anyway, I was super excited. I got these on the Black Friday sale. They have like 25% off, um, which is over unfortunately. But they, um, but I do have a discount code for you guys if you would like. It's 15% off. I will link um, I will link it and put the code down below. You can use either or you can use the code and then it'll just so, so you'll go to their site and then you can use my code or you can just use my link below, whichever is easiest for you. Um, but uh, and then um, but yeah, so discount code for 15% off your first purchase and try them out. They're really great. You can get one or two of them. You can even get all three. Um, all three is a little spendy, I will say that, but um, even two of them isn't cheap. Um, one I think costs around $30, $35 depending on the actual tincture. But they're well worth it and they last you a while. You don't have to take it every day. Um, it's just for you know certain symptoms and stuff. Um, or if you're going through a period where you really need some extra support in those areas, um, then it's good to start taking that. But anyway, have those have these back. I was super excited, very glad. But anyway, so I just want to share that because I was so excited to finally get these. Anyway, um, I'm super glad that they're here and now I can have them on a regular basis and they'll be really good, especially with breastfeeding and having all kinds of things, hormones and all that being kind of in whack, out of whack, then fine, then not fine, you know, anyway. So that'll be a nice little added bonus to my health. But yeah, anyway, I want to share that. Also, I changed because I had sweaty workout clothes on um all my kids are sleeping or at least the younger two the oldest is probably just in his room <sighs> having quiet time sometimes he takes naps during quiet time sometimes he doesn't but i don't care as long as he stays in his room for a bit and gives me some time to breathe <laughs> but anyway so next i am going to try and spruce up the bathroom over here um or that's the one bathroom that's not over where they're sleeping. And then when they get up, I'll probably clean the bathroom over there too and then sweep the kitchen floor. After that, I will be done cleaning for the day and then work on dinner. So some gifts came um, today. These, these are for our kids. They have been wanting Bibles of their own for a while now. These have some illustrations, but they're a full on King James Version Bible. So they've got all the words in there it's not dumbed down at all or anything but there's some cool illustrations in here which kids absolutely love I think they're gonna really love it but we decided to get them each a Bible this year for Christmas so that's that and then we got them a gift for them all <laughs> as a train set so I'm super excited for them to see this <laughs> we got this this is like something that just came accidentally from Amazon <laughs> it's like a bunch of different Legos so I don't know if we're giving that to them or what but anyway so it's kind of fun but so far that's what we got I'm still got to do stockings for the kids um, and then for my husband 
and I think we're, we might get them one or two other gifts. This year's just going to be very simple because it's just the way things are. Um, but they love simple and they get stockings too, so it'll be fun. But they are, they wanted a Bible for so long. So I'm so excited to finally have gotten them one. And a train set. Josiah's wanted one to give them for a while, so it's been, it's kind of cool. But yeah, anyway. I recently had, well a couple months ago I had a lot of hair loss, um, like postpartum hair loss kind of thing going on, and I was so sad because <laughs> I lost a lot of hair. It's coming back in, it's just, you know, it's going to take a while. Anyway, um, you wouldn't really know it because um, I have a lot of hair anyway, so when I lose it I notice it, but no one else notices it. But it's gotten longer now, I need to trim the ends because they're dying. dying but. I love how it looks when I put my hair in braids because it's like all super wavy. But yeah, it's gotten super long, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, it's thinned out. And so thankfully it's filling back in, but it just, it's gonna take a while. But anyway, I was gonna ask how many people if you're watching this, please let me know if you would be interested in my hair care routine. Um, it's very simple and very natural. Um, I don't use anything harsh on my hair. I use everything like, I use egg yolks in my hair, I use Castel soap, I don't use regular shampoo. Um, I only wash it like once a week, if that. Um, sometimes I go longer than once a week. So. I would just love to know if you guys want to know if you would like a video about my hair care routine and how I take care of it and maintain it. I mean, it is long. So, um, anyway, I know I've had some interest in the past and so I would love to know how many people on here would like a video like that. So, let me know in the comments what you think or what, if you would like to know, if you'd like me to share. Um, it's nothing crazy and I'm not the one, I'm not over here saying I've I know like this is the best way to take care of your hair this is just how I do it obviously this, that's a disclaimer here I just I'm, I'm not saying it's gonna work perfect for your hair um, but I've had a lot of people interested in how I manage my hair how I clean my hair and all that um, and so yeah anyway let me know what your thoughts are now I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here um, I want tonight with my family to kind of just be very relaxed and so I won't be filming I won't be doing a whole bunch of editing um, so I want to keep this vlog very simple um, because of that so I want to have lots of time with my family tonight and Josiah and I have some we're going to be doing finishing making our um, like end of the year um, letter slash Christmas card um, so we gotta finish that so we can print it and send it out because we only have a few weeks left till Christmas. <laughs> um, so we're trying to get that done. And then we're also, I have some, um, I am going to be teaching, <sighs> teaching some young ladies um, tomorrow on purity. Uh, we usually have a teen night and tonight we're doing things, or tomorrow night we're doing things a little different. We're having girls at a girl, um, a young girl, a young teen in our church is hosting girls night and so I'm going to go over there and teach a little short lesson on purity and Josiah is going to be with the young men over here at our house. He's also going to go caroling too with our church and the boys. Anyway, so I've got some stuff to do there and Josiah and I have to prepare our lessons and so I really want this evening to be very relaxing where I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing. So. Again, keeping this video simple and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next vlog. Bye!